Selling a little or a lot? Shopify helps you do your thing however you cha-ching. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage. All the way to the did we just hit a million orders stage. Shopify is there to help you grow. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout. 36% better on average compared to other leading commerce platforms. Because businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. Get a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash work. Shopify.com slash work. On today's Smart 7, D-Day commemorations get underway and the UN seeks a ban on fossil fuel advertising. It's Thursday 6th of June, it's National Fish and Chip Day and happy birthday Jason Isaacs. It's Smart 7. It's news but not the news. Much of Wednesday's coverage of the general election campaign revolved around Tuesday night's debate as it emerged that Rishi Sunak's claim that a Labour government would mean a £2,000 tax rise for most families was based on poor maths. A letter from the Treasury had been circulated two days before the debate warning that officials would not stand over the proposed numbers and that in fact the maths had been done by special advisers. Labour's shadow paymaster general Jonathan Ashworth says it's a question of trust in the Tories. A desperate lie and Rishi Sunak has exposed himself as no better than Boris Johnson. He's exposed himself as no better and no different. He is desperate and he is lying to the British public. Starmer dismissed the claim as absolute garbage on the night and on Wednesday accused Rishi of breaking the ministerial code. The Spectator ran the same maths on Tory campaign promises and estimated that their plans could cost £3,000 per household in a confusing change of allegiances. Tory Energy Secretary Claire Coutinho was unrepentant, however. He was asked 12 times in that entire half of the debate. He must have got a frantic text at some point towards the end. But he could not simply say that wouldn't happen. So if anything, it's severely underestimating the cost to families of their policies. Today marks 80 years since D-Day, with the first commemorative events occurring in Portsmouth and Normandy on Wednesday. Princess Anne was in France to welcome 23 surviving veterans, while the King and Queen hosted a ceremony on South Sea Common, one of the key departure points for the Armada of Boats in 1944. The King made his first major speech since his cancer diagnosis before he travels to Omaha Beach on Thursday and said that we must never forget their service and sacrifice. Let us once again commit ourselves always to remember and honour those who served that day and to, to live up to the freedom they died for. Prince William read from an extract of a letter from Captain Alistair Bannerman sent to his wife on D-Day. The captain survived the landing and eventually returned home, but the Duke of Cambridge urged us all to remember those who were lost. Too many never returned. We will always remember those who served and those who waved them off, who watched their loved ones go into battle, unsure if they would ever return. Today we remember the bravery of those who crossed this sea to liberate Europe. One of the loudest voices on climate change in recent years has been the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres. He's made a series of speeches, including one at last year's General Assembly, warning that humanity has opened the gates to hell as global warming continues to accelerate and major countries drag their feet on climate action. He took things up a notch on Wednesday with a speech at the American Museum of Natural History as he warned that new climate data says there is now an 80% chance that the planet will miss the 1.5 degree target across at least one of the next five years. He focused on fossil fuel companies asking governments to begin banning fossil fuel advertising and he also had a direct plea to ad agencies and marketing companies. I call on these companies to stop acting as enablers of planetary destruction. Stop taking on new fossil fuel clients from today and set out plans to drop your existing ones. Fossil fuels are not only poisoning our planet, they are toxic for your brand. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu toured a site in northern Israel on Wednesday where fires broke out after Hezbollah rockets were fired from Lebanon. He warned that very intense action would follow the attack as security is restored to the north. Meanwhile, Joe Biden's ceasefire plan appears to be in trouble as Hamas are now demanding a permanent end to the war and Israeli withdrawal from Gaza, something that Israel have already rejected. 
Slovenia joined the nations recognising Palestinian statehood on Wednesday in a contentious vote in the national parliament, which was announced by the Minister for Foreign Affairs, Tanja Fajon. Slovenia, yes. Slovenia has adopted an historic decision about the recognition of the Palestine state. I am proud that both the government and the parliament had the courage needed and that I was part of all this. Still to come on today, Smart 7 Manchester City get the lawyers fired up and Shonda Rhimes talks Black Barbie. Right after this. Ryan Reynolds here from Mint Mobile. With the price of just about everything going up during inflation, we thought we'd bring our prices down. So to help us, we brought in a reverse auctioneer, which is apparently a thing. Mint Mobile Unlimited Premium Wireless. How to get 30, 30, how to get 30, how to get 20, 20, 20, how to get 20, 20, how to get 15, 15, 15, 15, just 15 bucks a month? So Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. $45 up front for three months plus taxes and fees. Promo rate for new customers for limited time. Unlimited more than 40 gigabytes per month. Slows. Full terms at mintmobile.com. Welcome back. Manchester City have been complaining about the Premier League again. The club, which has 115 charges outstanding against them over financial fair play, launched a PR offensive on Wednesday aimed at highlighting what they feel are unfair restrictions. Chairman Khaldun al-Mubarak used his annual end-of-season interview to call for more sensible regulating. At the same time, Man City's legal eagles have launched a case against the Premier League over sponsorship rules and so-called associated party transactions, which limit deals with businesses associated with the club's owners. However, former Arsenal captain Tony Adams thinks City needs scrutiny over how they stockpile players too. I think the league's, got, more importantly, got to make sure that Man City just didn't keep rolling it around because we've spent 200 million here at the Arsenal just to get near them, you know, and you can't keep doing that. Shonda Rhimes is one of the most powerful women in television as the creator of Grey's Anatomy, Private Practice, Scandal and of course the executive producer of Bridgerton. Now she's turning her attention to a documentary intended to showcase how the first black Barbie doll came to be and the story of the black women at Mattel who fought for more representation. The first black Barbie appeared in 1980 but the behind the scenes story traces a nearly 20 year journey. It's due to drop on Netflix on June 19th and Shonda told the Today Show that actually having a Barbie that was black made a huge impact. The idea that you're creating this sort of iconic Barbie, this iconic woman, and she's only one color, was a very interesting thing. And there was a woman working at Mattel named Beulah May Mitchell who said, why don't you make ones that look like us? This summer seems to be all about the box office classics making a comeback. We've had Bad Boys 4, Beverly Hills Cop 4, and now we're getting a seventh film in the Alien franchise. This one doesn't feature the original cast, though, and it's a spin-off story from the Alien timeline set between the first two movies, but don't worry, it's jam-packed full of terrifying, face-hugging aliens. The movie is written and directed by Evil Dead director Fada Alvarez and stars Kaylee Spaney. It hits cinemas on August 16th. What's happening? something in the water. What do you mean there's something in the water? I don't know, there's just something in the f***ing water. No! The thing's hunting us. Oh, but then don't worry, come on. Right. You've been listening to The Smart 7. We'll be back tomorrow at 7am. Hit that follow button and have a great day. Give us seven minutes, we'll give you the world. Imagine the softest sheets you've ever felt. Now imagine them getting even softer over time. That's what you'll feel with Bowl and Branch's organic cotton sheets. In a recent customer survey, 96% replied that Bowl and Branch sheets get softer with every wash. Start getting your best night's sleep in these sheets that get softer and softer for years to come. Try their sheets with a 30-night guarantee. Plus get 15% off your first order at bowlandbranch.com. Code buttery. Exclusions apply. See site for details.